you guys are getting old enough that when we read fiction, there's a lot of things happening. And so many times we need to read nonfiction to understand what's happening in fiction. And remember, nonfiction is real, true facts, and fiction comes from the author's imagination, right? So we're gonna start by reading a nonfiction article to help us understand our fiction book. Cool? Cool, cool. okay. Let me share it with you. Okay, so this article is called Understanding Autism, okay? And so you know what to do, take your time with it. And when you're finished with this part, go ahead and put a thumb up, but take your time. It's called Understanding Autism. Does anybody feel like they could answer that question? What is the autism spectrum? Okay, good. Then this is a great habit in nonfiction. Let's go back and reread this very first part and let's see if we can get it into our own words, okay? So go ahead and take a look and um, reread the first three paragraphs, okay? Let's try this again. Okay? Remember, when we understand something, we're able to put it into our own words. So let me just start with this. Autism is something that. Who could go ahead and take a first try? Jack, go ahead, sweetheart. And go ahead, light, nice and loud, please. Orders your brain to not function right. Okay, good. Autism is something that affects your brain and is that what you said, sweetheart? Yeah. Okay. And your brain doesn't, he said, function normally. Okay. Okay, great. Does anybody, well, first let's just ask this. What do you guys think about what Jack said? Okay, everybody agrees. Does anybody want to add anything more about autism? Autism is something that, Lily, go ahead, sweetheart. I have a hard time reading other people's feelings. Mm, okay, fantastic. So autism is something that affects your brain and your brain doesn't function normally. It can be hard to, what'd you say, Lily? It can be hard to read people's feelings and talk to other people. It can be hard to read people's feelings and to talk to other people. Okay. Let's look at what we wrote when we put it into our own words and let's see if there's evidence for it, okay? So something that affects your brain, your brain doesn't function normally, it can be hard to read people's feelings and to talk to other people, it can be hard to do activities. So let's see if there's evidence for that. So if you see a piece of evidence that can support that, go ahead and put your thumb up. Jack read this piece of evidence. Children who have autism often struggle to know what others are thinking or feeling. What does that prove in our answer? That proves what? Lily, what does it prove? It can be hard to read people's feelings and talk, and talk to other people. Great. So that is, we have evidence for what Lily said. We have evidence for what Jack said. Now we have to see if there's evidence for it can be hard to do activities. So let's check to see if there's any evidence. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you think you know. Okay, Zoe, what piece of evidence do you have? Dealing with changes like trying new foods, having a substitute teacher, or, or schedule change. Great. And so why did you pick that for it can be hard to do activities? Because that's like an action that would be hard for them to do. Well, fantastic. So then, uh, Zoe, go ahead and add on. It can be hard to do activities like? Like changing to do different things great meeting new people let's talk about what we just did okay to make sure that we understood we started to put what we learned into our own words and then as we put it in our own words we had to check to make sure there was really evidence for what we were putting into our own words that was an excellent job and now we understand what autism is or at least a little bit more than we did before so that's great now go ahead and think about something that surprised you in the article or something that you still have a question about so i'm going to actually give us 10 seconds here you can answer either one what surprised you or what you have a question about or both so everybody take the time and kind of think right now now we did a wonderful, wonderful job. This was, we were reading that nonfiction article, we 
talked about in our own words what we understood and what we learned and then we started to get into those surprised and questioning and that's the way that we want to read nonfiction and interact with nonfiction and the great thing is I know you guys have access to tablets and computers and so these are some things that you could look up today you could really just look up about autism why is it hard to get to know somebody um, why is it hard to eat new things Lily you could search a little bit more on brain development and autism and what's happening and then you guys can be able to read more and understand more so that was really great so now we can go into